This new stub axe I've just bought from the MG Owners Club Spares facility. Uh, it's a nicely made piece of kit and today we're going to work out how to put the various bearings and spaces and things onto the stub axle and fit the hub. So we take the cover off it's on there to make sure the threads are good. We're going to check that the castle nut goes on there, which it does. That's the original castle nut from the original hub that I had. First thing that goes on is this bevel edged uh, spacer. Uh, it's called a collar and it's got a bevel edge there and that is designed to bridge this curved radius here at the bottom of the stub axle. So we pop that down there. Next thing, that came off the donor car, but uh, you can buy those new. Next thing that goes on, this is my this is my set of uh, wheel bearing rebuild parts. A couple of bearings, some grease, a split pin, and an oil seal. So that's what comes in the kit. Um, let's see. Also, we need from the original car. We need this spacer. And these are going to go on in this order, right? So here is the collar pressed into the hub, which I have just over here. Well, this is a new hub that I got from a company whose name I've forgotten now. Um, uh, that's going to be pressed into the bottom of that. And that will go flat side against the back of the stub axle. Um, so I'm not putting the hub on just at the moment, just so you can get the idea. So that seal is going to be on there to hold all the grease in. Next thing that's going to happen, here is the new inner bearing race. The inner bearing race is going to go on like so. Okay. Inside the new hub will be pressed this uh, bearing race that will mate up with that surface like that. So this surface will be this will be pressed inside the hub. I'm going to take that off for clarity for the time being. Next thing that goes on is this spacer that sits just on the inside of this bearing. That's going to sit on there like that. Okay. Next thing that goes on, and I've got a variety of these, are some shims so that we can get everything properly adjusted. So let me open this other bearing up here. This is the same arrangement, this bearing, a bearing race and a thing that put, you put into the hub. So what goes on here next is a number of these shims. Uh, this is a five thousandths of an inch shim, I think. This outer bearing race will go on like that. Um, obviously sitting inside this. And then finally, on top of all of that, we'll go a tab washer, which I've got here. And the tab washer goes down this groove here like, like so. I hope, hopefully you can see that. Tab washer goes on there. The castle nut goes on the end of the whole assembly. You talk it up to, I think, 60 or 70 foot pounds. You'll have to look up in the manual. And then you turn it to the nearest hole and put the split pin through there. So that's how it looks internally. Obviously, all of that is going to be sitting inside this. So that, that uh, oil seal there will be inside this rim here. Uh, this bearing race insert will be inside there. You can see there's a couple of notches in here cut so that if you ever need to tap this out, this is going to have to be drifted in with some sort of round piece of metal. As it happens, I've got a spare one of these and I'm just going to use that to knock it in. Um, so that's that. You need to make sure that the edge that this is all going to sit in, that, that is slightly beveled. You need to make sure that is square, it's not rounded in any way, otherwise it won't drift all the way home. In this end, 
This smaller one needs to be put into there. So that's going to slide down there like that. And as it happens, I've got a quite a large socket that is just the right size to knock that home with. Once I've got these two inserts inserted, then I'll be able to put the whole lot together. So here's a trial assembly. This time I've inserted these two inserts in here. You can see one there and one down the hole there. Hopefully you can see all the way down there. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is put this collar, bevel side edge, uh, bevel edge side rather, down the shaft onto here. So there's the bevel that's going to take up that radius there. Inside this side of the hub go uh, this spacer, it's got two flat machine surfaces on it. It's going to drop down inside there. Sitting on top of that will be this bearing race. That's going to drop down into here and sit. The inside face is going to sit on the back side of that spacer. That runs nicely. We're going to pack this with grease when we finally do it and around the edge there and everything but this is just a trial assembly for the moment. On top of that goes this oil seal. It's like many oil seals really. There's a garter spring. Oops, there's a garter spring there. You may just be able to see. Um, so that inside of there is going to get packed with grease. This flat face needs to be facing outwards. So it's going to be inserted a little bit like this. And then all of this assembly so that's slightly more. All of this is going to slide onto the shaft. Something like that. Okay, obviously I'm going to press it in a bit further. Uh, but that's how it works and we should be able to get a, a good a good turn on that. So down here, now the thing that we need to do before we put this second bearing in from the outside, we need to pack it with the grease first. The thing we need to do is put one of these or some of these shims and this is a trial and error thing um, you have to add up a number of these shims in order to take up the space between the various parts inside of here um, so that you only get maximum two thousandths of an inch end play or end float uh, and that that means that this hub can only move two thousandths of an inch left and right relative to this stub axle. Um, so we'll check that with the dial gauge. We'll clamp these ears where the brake mounts in there um, and then we'll put our dial gauge on here and put the tip of the dial gauge down on the end of the stub axle and measure the distance that it can travel and then once we've worked out how much play there is, we'll add up the right number of shims, stick them down on top of this, oops, dropped it right down the hole straight away, stick them down on top of the stub axle, put the bearing race, the tab washer and the castle nut on the top and torque it down to 60 foot-pounds. So, I'm going to try and do this, this is always a bit tricky. The shim's on there. I'm going to poke it down with something. There we go. And now that shim is now sitting on top of the machined face of that spacer part. Then, once we've packed this with grease, I'm going to drop that down there as well. That should sit on top of there. Then we need to put the tab washer in with its tab facing the inline in the hole there in the groove of the stub axle. And finally, we're going to put the castle nut on the top. And that will all be held together and hopefully it will rotate nice and smoothly.